Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today is episode 118, I think. And yeah, so I got some finished objects to show. Uh, one whip <laughs> and some acquisitions. I got some Happy Mail and some fabric and some yarn. And my air kicked on, so I had to turn it off. But I got a bunch of stuff to share with you guys. And yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, I do have two pattern finished objects, but I have multiples of one of them. <laughs> But the first finished object is the love you guys working on. Now I can't remember the patterns off the top of my head because I don't have my notes with me. But they will be linked in the description box below the video, the uh, link to the pattern. So this is a lovey, it's kind of been out of shape, that I was making. <laughs> He's a little weird looking. But it's a lovey. It's got a star shaped blanket. I made this with some yarn that I was gifted recently. It is paint box yarn and it's acrylic. It's like a charcoal gray color. And then his muzzle is made with red heart buff. And I used a little safety eyes and a safety nose. I took pictures of him on Instagram and his nose got turned upside down. I think Jesse did it, but his nose goes that way. So yeah, I just made it because I wanted to. I did use the black fiber fill that I have. Someone gifted to it to me, geez, last year or year before that. And uh, I've been slowly using it because I don't want to use it all up. So I only use it for things that really need dark fiber fill. And his nose, I stuffed it with more of the buff yarn so that it wouldn't show through uh, white stuffing. Yeah, he's got a little bit of stuffing in his paws. He's really cute. He was pretty quick, and the blanket part worked out super fast because it's just a star blanket. Really cute. I like it. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> his head turned out a little weird. I didn't stuff it good enough, but um, I'm not even concerned about it. And his ears. I think he's adorable charcoal monkey I mean bear <laughs> my next finished object also I can't remember what's pattern is called I mean it's emigrammy star but I don't remember who wrote it but it'll be linked in the description below I made some emigrammy stars I made um, the star pieces a couple weeks ago I think um, and showed them to you guys and uh, then I finally sat down and was watching TV with Jesse and decided to go ahead and sew them together, put their little eyes on and their little mouths on, and come done. So I've got six of them. Here's a pink one. This is a scrap also of paint box yarn. So he's got little safety eyes and a little uh, smiley face, and he is stuffed a little bit. Got two orange ones. A pink one. This one turned out smaller than the rest of them. A multicolor one and a yellow one <laughs> I think these are cute I really have no reason why I made these I just wanted to make something little and that I could finish um, but I thought about maybe I might start making little amigurumis like this and putting them in bag orders or something I don't know just give them little extras if people order bags or something or I might try to sell them I don't know I don't know if you would be interested in amigurumis I have a ton of amigurumis left over from a craft fair I did last year plus any random ones I've made between then and now I just keep putting in that bag and I need to do something with them so I thought about trying to sell some on my Etsy shop but if no one's interested in buying emigrumies I'll probably just end up donating them to somewhere like a woman's shelter or something uh, because I don't need a million emigrumies floating around my house and I, I probably won't be doing a craft show anytime soon because of you know the the virus and also um, a lot of work to do craft fairs. I never, I didn't really enjoy it. I made good money the one I did last year, but um, I don't know. I just, it's just not my thing. <laughs> but yeah, so those are my two finished objects: was the bear lovey and the star. Both patterns are linked below. My whip, I only have one active whip right now. I do have some things I'm looking at to make, so I just got to figure out which one I want to start on first. And uh, but this is my scrap project. I just started this, um, I think last week. And I just wanted to start using up my scrap yarns. And I'm not really following a pattern. It's just a grainy stitch. So um, for this particular blanket, I think I chained 141. And then I worked into the fourth chain from the hook. And started my granny squares. And then I skipped two chains. And then granny stitch. Skip two chains, granny stitch. All the way to the end. And then chained three and repeated it. Um, the opposite way. But here it is. Let me find the top of it. I wanted it pretty wide because it, I wanted it to be a... Uh, cozy blanket where is the end of it oh here it is okay so i start i ended off here with this uh i think this is called uh this is either frosty green by red heart or it's uh it's one of the times because there's two time 
There's like medium time and then another one. But there it is so far. It's pretty long. I wanted it, like I said, I wanted it wide. It's it's a little shorter than my wingspan. I'm 5'7", so I would say this is probably about 5 feet wide, <laughs> approximately. And I'm going to make it really long, too. I'm just going to keep working on it. Keep putting scraps in it until it's the size that I think is good. And I'm going to leave all my tails. I've already mentioned that I'm going to do that. Because I think it gives it a more scrappy look. I just knot them a whole bunch of times. Like, uh, two or three, four times. And I'm just going to leave them hanging off there. I think it'll be a cute, scrappy look. That's it so far. <laughs> but, uh, it's coming along. I still got a lot of scrap balls to put into this before I have to worry about running out of scrap yarn. But I'll always accumulate more because making hats or baby items or amigurumis, you know, there's always scrap yarn to be made. <laughs> Yeah, so that's my only whip, my only active whip right now. Uh, there are a few things. There's some blankets that I found I want to make. There's some hats I want to make. There's some amigurumi I want to make. You know, so I'm sure there'll be more whips in the next video, hopefully. <laughs> now, on to acquisitions. I'll start with Happy Mail because I have two, um, two little Happy Mails, and then I got a lot of acquisitions. <laughs> but this first Happy Mail came from Ronelle. She uh, seen my, one of my videos where I talked about my Hobby Lobby haul. And I had a yarn there that I only had two balls of, and I had mentioned that I wished I had. You know, I always prefer to have like three plus balls so I can make a good size thing. So she found one ball of that at her, her lobby, lobby, hobby lobby. So she purchased it, and it was 99 cents. I think she actually got it cheaper than I did, um, and sent it to me. And it's the Yarn Bee Breathe Deep in Brown Sugar. So now I have three of these that I can make something with. So thank you so much, now. I appreciate that a lot. And then the next uh, Happy Mail came from Seta. I knew it was from Seta as soon as I seen where it was from because uh, she lives in Wasilla, Alaska. It's stuck in there. Come on. Okay. And I, I just knew it was from her. But she sent me a postcard with polar bears and a little note. And in true Seta fashion, she, she sent some teas and some true lemon. And then she also, she had this in a really pretty little, like, uh, jewelry box. You know, one of those, like, spring jewelry boxes. But Jessie has commandeered that and claimed ownership of that box. But she had this little heart with a bead in the middle of it. Which is really cute. And she also sent these two little peaches and cream stripey. And the colorway is energetic pink. So it's two little cotton cakes. <laughs> I guess these are cakes. Uh, I don't know how many yards is in here. It's a medium number four. The yardage is probably right in my face. Two ounces, 102 yards. So that's 204 yards total. Thank you so much, Seta. Um, I've been going through a rough time. And actually, it got a little worse this last week. Uh, there's only a couple people who know about what's actually going on in my life. And I'm trying to keep it private for just a while until I get done with it. And then I might talk about it. I don't know. But, um... <clears throat> So it's always nice to get stuff and just know that people are thinking about me and praying for me and stuff. So I do appreciate it. Uh, I'm not saying send me stuff or, or anything like that. But I, I love getting the emails and the messages from people and, you know, cards and stuff. It's just it's just great to know that I got people <laughs> on my side right now because it's really rough. And uh, like I just said, it just got a little bit rougher this past week. And I'm hoping to get out of this uh, funk one of these days. <laughs> But I'm trying to stay positive, I'm trying to stay happy, and um, it's difficult. But anyways, that's all my happy mail that I got this week. I do have another happy mail coming. It was supposed to come today, but it says it's arriving late. So it probably won't come until tomorrow, but Devin works tomorrow, so I won't be able to get it until Saturday <laughs> because he works the next two days. Today's Wednesday, by the way, I think. Oh, I should have made a Watch You Working on Wednesday video. I forgot about that. Oh, well, that's okay. But let me stick this back in here so I can put it up later. Making a lot of noise. Okay, ac acquisitions. <laughs> Personal acquisitions. These are all things that I bought. Okay, first of all, I got an Amazon order. <laughs> One of them was a DVD, but it's in the living room. It was just a, a movie. A movie uh, focus. It was a DVD set of all the movies. Um, I can't remember their names. It's brothers that make them down in Georgia. They're the people who made um, Flywheel and Fireproof and Courageous and War Room. And there's one more. I can't remember the other one, but it's just the DVD set of that because <laughs> I wanted all of them. But anyways, I also got some elastic, and this is like tube elastic. It's really soft, 
and it's flexible nice I was gifted uh, some of this to make masks for Jesse with and they're really good on his little ears they don't bend them over like regular size elastic does so I ordered this <laughs> it came with a hundred yards and I'm gonna make him some more masks and then I'll probably just make all of our other masks because I have to make some for my mom and for me and Devin and Jesse and I want to make Halloween and Christmas ones of course um, I'm gonna use this elastic because it's softer and it's uh, definitely gen more gentle on uh, Jesse's ears, so I'm sure it'll be fine for our ears too. And uh, yeah, so lots of elastic there. <laughs> and then I also got my pink mailers. <laughs> I accidentally ordered the wrong size. My last update was supposed to be in pink mailers, but when they came, they were half the size of these. So I still have them. I didn't want to worry with. Um, returning them. I just decided to keep them because I might use them in the future to sell out uh, notion pouches or something. And uh, so I, I ordered the right size hot pink mailers. So the next bag update will have cute mailers. <laughs> but that was my uh, Amazon order. And then I went to Joann's to get some batting. They had batting on sale by the yard, but the Joann's I went to, it wasn't the one I usually go to. We were in another town didn't have any body yard for sale <laughs> I guess they were sold out so I just got one of those bags of um, batting and I just got some for the quilted tote bags that I make so I got one of those things <laughs> it was 40% off it wasn't 60% off like the body yard but still a deal is a deal and then I went to Michael's because that town had a Michael's and I never go to Michael's I actually don't like Michael's that much because to me they have a really small yarn selection and then they don't sell fabric so it's no fun for me that's why I love Joann's because it has tons of yarn. Almost every Joann's I go to has like four aisles of yarn plus, and then they have all the fabric, which I love. So at um, Michael's, since I never get Karen cakes because I never go to Michael's, I went ahead and bought two Karen cakes, and these are the Karen Big Cakes. I bought the rainbow ones. They were on sale at the time. They are like $7.99, I think. And they also, if you buy one yarn, you get one yarn half off. So I got two of the rainbow... I think it's called rainbow rainbow jellies okay i love rainbow so that's like 1200 yards right there of something i don't know what i'm gonna make yet and these are on clearance and i've never had these it's red heart super saver chunky and i got it in petal pink and takura or how do you say that <laughs> and they're the chunky yarns and they were like a two dollars they're a dollar 97 each and i thought they'd make cute hats and i've never worked with this yarn so i wanted to just get it and try it out so I think it's um, I think it's pretty cute. I'm gonna try it and see how it goes. <laughs> and then I also bought a book while I was there. Uh, I always like to look at the Amy Groomy books. There was one in particular that I want. It's on my Amazon wish list, but I can't remember what it is. It just came out recently, and it's got a bunch of little Amy Groomies, and it's black. I can't remember the name of it. If I can re remember to put it in the description, I'll link this one and the one that I want to buy eventually. Um, I was hoping it was there in person, but I'll just have to order it. But so I got this one. It's called Hooked on Amigurumi and it's got 40 fun patterns. And here it is. I've seen this a few times and uh, I just thought it was so cute. I love this little turtle and a little soy sauce because I love soy sauce like way too much. <laughs> but um, it's got 40 patterns in it and I just thought it'd be none of the pictures were showing. <laughs> I just thought it would be um, cute. Get a little potion. <laughs> but I love little Amigurumis and uh, I'm going to try this out to see how big one comes out and then because I don't know if they're actually little. They might be larger than little. But that's okay. Alright. Last thing I have that I purchased is some fabric. I purchased it today actually at Hobby Lobby. Um, I went there to look at all the Christmas stuff. Because all their Christmas decorations are 40% off right now. And I didn't see anything I wanted to buy bad enough to actually buy it. But I did uh, see that their Christmas fabric was on sale also for 40%. So I did get some Christmas fabric to make project bags with. These are going to be... Um, the quilted tote bags and they'll probably be in the next update i know it's early for some people for christmas but for people like me <laughs> christmas is all the time but um now's the time to buy for christmas if you're thinking presents because uh if you wait until right before christmas everything's gonna be sold out so these are gonna be christmas bags in probably the next shop update so i got two yards of each print that will make um four bags so there'll be four of this print which is dogs and cats with wintery Christmassy hats on I love that <laughs> and this one I thought was so cute it's got chicken wire background and it's got pig chicken cow a llama or a paca 
I can't tell the difference. Sheep, all Christmas up. <laughs> Two yards that also. And then this one is so cute. It's llamas. All kinds of festive llamas. Two yards that also. And then for myself, personally, I bought a panel too. I'm going to make this and I'm going to hang it in my house somewhere. Um, I always admire these panels and I always want to buy one, so I finally bought one. But it's just a Santa one. It's really big. <laughs> it's a whole yard of panel, so it's hard to hold. But it's a really pretty picture. So what you do with this is you just, I got to wash them and then iron them and cut off the salvage. And then I will get the back the backing and you and you sandwich it with some like batting to make it squishy you know nice and pretty and you can also quilt parts of it to make it um kind of stand out and i might try to do that but i don't know <laughs> we'll see and then you put little handles on there and you can hang it from like a dowel or you can put the little hooky things on there and hang it and it's just like a kind of like a tapestry or something to hang up just to be festive so i saw this one and it looked kind of vintage Christmassy to me like a vintage Santa <laughs> so I thought I would go ahead and purchase that one and um, make it for my house my phone's dying but I gotta wash these fabrics I just got on and then I also got like five yards and three two yards of green with stars and red with stars this is just to be liners for all those and a backing for my Santa thing so yeah that's all my acquisitions this week <laughs> it's kind of a lot but that's okay but uh, yeah I pretty much it. I got a lot of fabric here already washed. I got to wash these new Christmas ones. And then I got some cut. I was cutting a bunch of fabric the other day and something happened. Oh, Jesse got sick randomly out of blue. He just told me he doesn't feel good and then he started throwing up. But then he was fine after that. So I think it was just something that he ate that made his stomach, um, you know, unsettled. But, um, so that, that threw me off my groove of cutting fabric. I ended up snuggling with him the rest of the day on the couch because I was afraid he was getting sick, but he never got sick. It was just a fluke. But anyways, I need to finish cutting all this fabric and then I can get an idea when the next bag update is going to be. It's probably going to be, oh my god, I just see a giant bug over there on the curtain. I'm going to have to get Devin to get that because that's a creepy big old bug. I think it's a waspard. <laughs> but anyways, I got to get the uh, fabric cut so that I can get the bag update. I'm watching that bug because I don't want it to come over here. But um, I'll let you guys know whenever that is because I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. But I gotta go kill that bug or get Devin to kill that bug because it's creeping me out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.